I'd like to thank everybody for their supportive comments on YouTube and Reddit. I deeply appreciate reading about how I'm right and how much you love me. Please continue. Perhaps I had spoken too soon regarding the demise of The Onion. After the release of one of the most absurdly pro-Hillary articles I have ever seen, which happened to occur coincidentally the same time that Univision, with Clinton donors on their board, bought them out, it seemed to me that beloved satirical publication had completely sold out. However, since the article's release, The Onion has put out some pieces that were critical and mocking of Hillary Clinton. So I believe I may owe an apology. <sighs> okay, um, I don't usually do this, um, even though this is my third video or so on the, this. Uh, I don't usually do this, but um, <clears throat> give me a second. <clears throat> I sincerely apologize, I was wrong, and I feel terrible. I hope that one day you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Greg, I did not know your cat could not bend that way. In entertainment news, Han Solo has finally been cast. No, not that old b <laughs> Young Han Solo, Disney and the Lego Movie Guys went with somebody named Alden Ehrenreich. The one actor who I should mention I completely cut out of my last video, Han Solo casting, sucks. I was already to rewrite Sand, and you know what? I'm not going to give you, you know, too much of a, a, a reason why I didn't do it and screwed up on that. <laughs> you see, uh, well, yes I will. So I was already to rewrite in when he was added to the list of candidates, and I regret not giving that little bit of extra effort to say that I know he was going to be the winner of that role. Now, I, I know what you might be thinking here. Uh, if I actually knew at the time... Get the fuck away from you, moth. If I actually knew at the time that he was going to win the role, then... <laughs> why didn't I even mention him? Why didn't I mention it? Well, you see, the second I saw him on the list, I took a look and I thought, hey, you know what? I could live with this one. I thought to myself, he wouldn't be a bad pick. And I knew that if I had mentioned him, he in all likelihood would not land that role. Yeah, yeah, and I, that may sound a bit superstitious, that a YouTube video that garnered under a thousand views from a YouTuber with only 30 subscribers could have any influence on one of the hardest castings, in my opinion, ever. But let me explain to you the evidence that led me to this conclusion. This is a picture of the universe. This is me. This is the u <laughs> This is a daily occurrence. And this proves that I knew he would win if I excluded him. Because fate has a cruel sense of fucking me over. I mean, irony. So I think Mr. Ehrenreich owes me a big thanks. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. And oh, uh, here's another hint. Ehrenreich is actually hot ease for Stronger Together. Which ties in with my first bit. Isn't that nice how that works out? I like that. Now listen, Greg, I will buy you a new cat. There are thousands of cats that are born and end up dying of starvation, lonely and afraid. I, I agree. I should have at least made sure she was dead before I started the fire, at the very least. A bunch of sites picked up a story about the actress Rose McGowan calling out a billboard this week. The billboard did not respond. However, 20th Century Fox, who had the billboard's number, tucked tail and apologized on its behalf. McGowan was put off by the advertisement because she believed it casualized violence against women. Yes, because when I see an ancient Egyptian Ivan Ooze choking out a shape-shifting red-haired woman with scaly blue skin, I think... F***! That's casual! She goes on to say that her friend's nine-year-old daughter had asked her father, Dad, why is that monster man committing violence against a woman? McGowan added, this is from a nine-year-old. If she can see it, why can't Fox? Every party in this noise is stupid. If the nine-year-old was so damn clairvoyant, why couldn't she see that the answer that she wanted was in the question that she stated? Monster Man is obviously choking Blue Woman because he's a monster man, come what may. And that brings us to the tip of the day. If you use a child's opinion to justify your position or outrage, that door swings both ways. So stop pretending you can see why they like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and grow the fuck up. And this just about concludes today's episode. 
I'd like to leave you all with some words of wisdom. I've seen a lot of good things in my life. I've seen some things no one should ever have to see as well. But I keep in good spirit. You see, the people you surround yourself with, they have a large influence on you and your mental well-being probably more than you may ever realize. So don't let anybody ever make you feel unfairly undervalued or worthless. If you have the passion to move forward, stay vigilant, work hard, and buy a dog. Cats are no good waste of time and are acquaintances at best. Fuck you, Greg. Your stupid cat ate all the fucking food. It kept away all the rats. What, 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 was, I, what was I supposed to eat? You selfish son of a bitch.